Hello and welcome to Lloyd Doll House. We are returning to the renovation of this Greenleaf Newberg Doll House. As you can see, the dining area as well as the kitchen are pretty much finished and so is the living room. However, if we look at the upstairs, it's a completely different story. So it is about time that we get working on the bedroom. This will be the master bedroom and we have to start by applying the wallpaper. This time I am going to use wallpaper that was designed specifically for a dollhouse. Unlike the paper that I used in the living room, which is cardstock and is the same case with the uh, wall coverings that I used in the dining room and the kitchen. So I'm going to get started by creating a template from paper. And the first wall is going to be about six inches by eight and a half. And I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger. And the reason I do this is because if I'm going to mess up anything, I don't want it to be the wallpaper. In I don't have a lot of wallpaper to spare. So a little bit bigger, we said, just to make sure. I can always take off, but it's more difficult to, to add on, okay? So here, and because I'm using this already um, marked paper with the, with the little squares, then it's easier for me to cut it. Although, the, the walls of the dollhouse are rarely straight. So now I have my piece of paper ready and I'm going to fit it right here. And what I can see is that I have to cut, I have to trim like half of a square from the side and about a half of a square from the top. After coming back to trimming the paper a couple of times, I think that I have now a very good fit. I have only a little bit for error because with the um, baseboard and the crown molding, I have the opportunity to have a little bit of an error. This is the wallpaper that I have selected. It's for the first time that I'll be using dollhouse wallpaper that was made exactly for that purpose and it's vintage. It comes with three sheets and I think that the one on top it's a little bit discolored so I'm going to use the two sheets that are at the bottom. And I have to figure out whether this has um, a top, an upside and a downside. I believe I don't want the flowers to be upside down, so I believe that this is the top and this is the bottom. Okay, so then I'm gonna flip it to the other side, to the reverse, because I do not want the markings of my pencil to show anywhere. And with the template, then I'm going to cut it. And I know that it will fit because I already tried it. So I'm gonna be using a plastic spatula to apply the glue. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out of here. And I want to be and I want it to be a thin, very thin layer, but I do want it to be spread evenly, especially in the cor in the edges. I don't want the wallpaper like I said to be lifting for a very long time. It appears as I have it spread all evenly. And now here comes the paper. So I'm glad it fits. Sometimes even when I try it, 
it doesn't fit at the time that I apply it onto the wall, but this time it worked. And from the center, I'm using a, an old gift card. And it's squeezing out some of the glue. That's why I'm wiping it off. You don't want bubbles in, you don't want bubbles on the wallpaper. But if I found any bubbles, I can always use a needle and puncture a tiny, tiny little hole. On these walls, I have decided that I am going to leave these beams of wood exposed because trying to cover them to resulted in a lot of difficulty last time I tried to do it. So I'm going to apply wallpaper right here, right here, and I have the issue with the windows already in place, which shouldn't be the sequence of events, but I have the house the way it is and wallpaper here, but these beams will be exposed. The template for this back wall here, it's been a little bit labor intense to create it. I had to piece two sheets of paper together. And now this fits here, but I don't want separate pieces right here. So I am going to try to connect with the, this part, with this one, so that it's all one piece when it comes time to put it together. Let's see. So, if this one goes up here, I'll do the same to this other side. So I, I have my wallpaper for the third and last wall of this particular room, which is the master bedroom. And I'm going to try something a little bit different when I apply the glue for the first wall. I think the water made the wallpaper expand and crinkled a little bit and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try Instead of saturating it, just dabbing it all around and then kind of flattening it. And I have to do it quickly before it starts drying. And then take the wallpaper up to the wall rather than having the glue on the wall and then just bring the dry wallpaper dry. So let's see how this works. I'll let you know which one works better. If any mistakes are made, I'd rather they be made on my dollhouse so that you don't have to make the same mistakes when you're doing yours, okay? Okay, and so... Hopefully my template will behave exactly the way I want it to behave. So that is distributed equally. It's 
kind of hard to get the camera in here and just work with one hand. So I'm gonna let you go for now and then I'll come back when I have it all flattened out. And we have now the walls of the master bedroom ready. It looks a little bit feminine, so we're gonna have to get creative so that it's friendly for both the husband and the wife who will inhabit this bedroom. Stay with us. We will come back with the next step, which will be the crown molding, the baseboards. And thank you so much for watching.